Hola, I'm Nick de Cuevas, and I'm going to show you today how you can use Adobe Stock and Creative Cloud Express to create content efficiency. And we're also going to look into how you can use color, culture, and diversity in your content. But before we get started, you want to make sure you hit the subscribe button because we got weekly videos you do not want to miss. What we're going to do is we're going to search through one of the templates inside Adobe Creative Cloud Express. And I'm going to search for the word event. I've actually previously searched this. So you can literally type it in based on the type of template that you're looking for. So I want something that is vibrant and really aligns with creativity. So it uses bold and expressive colors to align with that color psychology. They want people to feel expressive. So I'm going to click on start from, and that's going to give me this window where I can create from this template. I'm going to select that the magic happens. Everything is loaded. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make a few minor tweaks before we get into the photos. I'm just going to select the background and you see a window pop up here that tells you you can edit the background. I'm just going to change it to white because I do want the colors to really stand out and really push that emotion. Now we're going to go to the far left and I'm going to select photos. When working with images, you want to make sure that you're inclusive to your entire audience. I always make sure that I include diversity and I am aware of culture. And what I mean by culture and diversity in the sense is that, for instance, if we search Latina, there is a lot of uh, misconceptions of what we are as Latina. So a lot of it is with provocative poses, or sometimes you still see some stock image where we are depicted with sombreros and maracas, and that's supposed to express our culture, which is very wrong. It's a big bias. So be aware of those visuals because that really makes people feel connected and heard and represented. I want to look at body language. I don't want so much body language where it's people just kind of doing that very business look or they're really looking at the camera. So it feels very overly posed because body language is a huge communication PowerPoint that we often miss. If you see this little beautiful crown icon, that means it's a subscription based image. That means if you have Creative Cloud or Creative Cloud Express subscription, you get access to that. But don't worry if you don't, you literally have thousands of options to use. So to add your image, just click and you can literally add as many other images as you want. As you click on them, they're going to be showing up on your little canvas area. So I am just going to stick with one for now. And here is a really neat part. Select your image and this side panel side window pops up that says edit image. You can remove the background, which is super powerful. And I'm going to show you in just one tap what this can do. It's literally going to do this cutout for us. If you want to go in and refine some details, you can always do that with the erase or restore options, and you can increase or decrease the size of the brush so that you can get really detailed. I'm just going to click on the check mark and that'll load my image here. There are some areas here in the chin where I can go back and edit. But for this example, I just want you guys to see the power behind using these images. You can also add effects. You have filters, which include duotones. You can darken the image, give it a lighter feel to it. You can actually do enhancements to the image. You can adjust the contrast, the brightness. You can make it a little brighter. You can adjust the saturation. Be aware with saturation and our darker skin tones as that can make us look really red and not in a flattering way. You can also blur an image and, and all you need to do to use these features is just hit the toggle button and it'll make these effects possible. You can also go in and do some cropping. So when I select crop and shape, you have all these options where I can literally make the inside crop area much larger, smaller. You can rotate it. You can literally drag it or you can click on the buttons here and actually give it a manual number. You can flip the images and you can crop it into specific shapes. As you are looking at this, Look for colors that are connected to your brand colors so it brings it all together. Make sure that you're aware of cultural biases that we might have towards certain communities of color. When you're looking for imagery, especially when it depicts people, look at their body language. Does that align and support and enhance your template that you're using? Because that's going to add to the experience. Since you subscribe to this channel, you get weekly tips like this so you'll never run out of content. Gracias and see you next time.